Good morning. Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori. I am on my way to work. It's Monday morning. It's 7 a.m. ish. Coffee today is buttery caramel. This is the Archer Farms Target brand. I went to Ikea last night and got a new glass uh, jar to keep it fresh. I was putting it in a glass jar that I got at Target with the screw top lid and it was getting stale and yucky before I could finish a pound bag. It's delicious. So we'll see if this helps. Um, I am keto, so it has heavy cream and two. Um, usually I use Splendid Natural, which is a stevia and erythritol blend. Um, but Aldi sells it, and I'm trying their brand, which I feel like I've had before, but I'm not sure. So anyway, but it's good. Um, so I'm doing that. Yesterday, I went and saw Mamma Mia. Here we go again. Oh, it was so good. So good. I cried twice. Like, who cries at Mamma Mia? But my added bonus, Cher. I love Cher. She was in it, so that was awesome. It was good. I like that type of light-hearted sing-along. We were singing along. Um, it was so much fun. I went with my niece and her mom and ha her brother Atticus and friend Kristen. And we all went together and then headed home. So I did not get my Sunday prep done. So I'm a little crazy this morning. And no makeup today because my allergies are off the chain. My ears, I'm going to have to take some Sudafed when I get to work. So sometimes when my allergies are like this, I just prefer not to put the makeup on. Because I'll be rubbing my eyes all day. Anywho, so tonight I have to stop at the grocery store on my way home. I was able to find, I made some tuna salad for lunch today with some celery sticks and I had um, I made some bacon and eggs for breakfast so I have lunch and break or breakfast and lunch today but I won't have enough for the rest of the week and I do pack every day most days I mean there are times I would say twice a month that I purchase lunch maybe three times a month depends if we decide to order out one day um, but I try to pack my lunch every day. So what I do is I prep on Sundays. And I had taken a steak out of my freezer to cook and slice it up and do like steak salad or something this week. But that did not happen because I was having poor time management yesterday. Which is fine. Well, because we went to Ikea. Well, I got up and went and did my couponing. But then we went home, or I went home, showered got ready and then we ran to Staples and Walmart for back to school um, things for my cousins they needed some some stuff at Target just way overpriced so we went to the other places I'm looking and I'm waiting for one of the stores to have the box pens at a reasonable price for my older cousin he's in high school and he wants click pens, not with the lids, but with the clicker. Oh, let me stop. Yellow light. And I like to get him a whole pack of them. So I did that yesterday. But I just, I mean, I think I'm cheap. But also the cafeteria at my work, which is great, I'm sure, is just expensive. I don't want to spend seven to ten dollars a day on lunch. That's a lot of money. I could use that for other things. So I pack. I'm not sure what I'll have with my steak tonight. Maybe maybe some zoodles. That would be yummy. Right outside of my house, there's a farm stand I could stop at for some fresh produce on my way home. It's literally around the corner. Like, I walk there a lot of weekends just to get some stuff, but they have some really nice looking zucchini. The other night, and I'm 
I'm not, I don't know if this is a southern thing, but I grew up on fried green tomatoes. Oh, or green fried, however you say it. Um, so on Saturday night, Saturday night, I had to pick up my brother. He needed to borrow my washer and dryer, so I went and got him. And I knew it was dinner time, so I knew he hadn't eaten. And I had some burgers that I was going to cook, so I grabbed a couple ears of corn for him, and I grabbed myself a green tomato. Oh. And I am not a huge, I'm not a huge raw tomato fan, period. I don't like tomatoes uncooked, which is bizarre for me. I, I love all fruits and vegetables, but I do not like the uncooked tomato. And it's something with that acidy taste in it. I don't know. So anyway, I don't eat them raw. I'll eat them cooked six ways to Sunday, but not raw. But, um, now fried green tomato, that's a whole nother world. And it is cooked, to my defense. But, oh, now growing up, my mom and grandma would make zucchini and green fried tomatoes. And that would be like dinner sometimes for us. If the, my brothers, the boys, weren't home. I have four brothers. So if it was just going to be me and my mom and my grandma, then sometimes that's what we had for dinner. And then some fruit of some sort. Um, so anyway, I used to make it. I think in the south they used cornmeal. But I grew up using flour. Salt and pepper flour. And you dip it, dredge it in milk and egg. And then the slices of green tomato and then into the flour mixture and into some type of oil but now that I'm ketogenic and I don't eat flour or carbs of that nature I came up with my own little concoction yes on Saturday it was a green tomato sliced it up and I soaked it with heavy cream and one egg and then I fried it in olive oil and a little bacon just to give it a little bacon grease to give it a little extra kick and I also drenched it so you need some type of a coating and so what I did is I took parmesan cheese the kind you get in the tub you know the grated not shredded grated parmesan cheese and I added some almond flour to it to give it a little crunchy almost to mimic cornmeal it was delicious. I had that, and I'm not gonna lie, I ate a half a tomato myself. It was so good. And I put one slice on top of my sandwich, on top of my not sandwich, on top of my burger, and ate it like somebody would eat a fresh tomato. Oh, so good. Now I'm on a green, I want another one. <laughs> They're so good. Maybe I'll get one of those for dinner tonight. Well, actually, I could make those and bring them with my lunch. I mean, they're not as good the second day, but they're not bad. So that might be an option for a couple days this week. Wednesday, I go, I'm so excited, about two months ago, three months ago, my um, friends and I signed up to take a pottery class. And it's for three weeks. It meets on Wednesday nights at six o'clock. I gotta check the schedule, but I think it's Wednesdays at 6, downtown Columbus, and we learn to throw, I think it's called throwing pottery, where you take the raw clay, just like ghost, and you learn to create things with it. So the teacher, the artist, works with the class. I think there's 8 to 10 people in it. Uh of which will be myself, my two friends, and one, my one friend's daughter. But she said we'll create four items. So I'm hoping for like a bowl, because I want to make a yarn bowl. A bowl, a mug, I have to have a coffee mug. This is not even an option. And I don't know what else. We'll create, so the first two weeks we'll create four items. And then they, I guess they have to dry. And then on the third week, we will paint the items and then she will fire them and we'll go pick them up at some undisclosed time. So I'm super, super excited to try this. This has been a bucket list item of mine. Oops, I'm just 
this though. This has been a bucket list item of mine for a very long time. I have just always wanted to try pottery. And if I like it, you know, I may see if there's someplace else I could go or back to the same studio. Um, and I don't feel like it was too expensive. I believe it was $80 for three classes and four products. So I don't feel like that's bad or expensive. But I'm super excited and that starts Wednesday. And then Friday night and Saturday night, I am working at the Chauncey Center doing USA Gymnastic Tournament for, these are for the young Olympic staff, Olympic age gymnasts, not college or high school. These are kids, this is the, um, like, na towards nationals, I believe. So, I'll be working that. And then I was supposed to work all day Saturday, but because this weekend rained, and it looks like today is going to be another rainy day, um, we're riding, they pushed our ride back from last Saturday to next Saturday. And then the following weekend is my Pelotonia, which I, of course, will bring you along with because that is just an amazing, amazing experience um, for that. So, I don't really have too, too much going on this week. I have to finish my secret, secret, secret stealthy Christmas project that I'm working on to get that done and put away and then put away or go through and organize all the school supplies and watch. I'm almost done, actually just need pens for both kids and maybe another box of the Taya Conderoga pencils which they're expensive but I after talking with Addison the young my little young cousin the big she just didn't like the big pencils they bend when she writes with them and so from all the feedback that I'm getting these Taya Conderogas are top-notch they're expensive but so I need to get her a few more to last her the rest of the year. I got one box of 12, I think, so far. But, as you know, children go through pens and office supplies at a rapid pace during school year. They get lost, they get borrowed, whatever. And this is the time to stock them up and stock up the parents. I may stop at Office Max. We'll see, see if they have any I guess I could pull up their ad on lunch break and see if they have any um, deals on the box pens. I don't want just the BIC. I mean, the BIC are fine, the BIC sticks for the kids, but I'm just thinking maybe something a little better. So we'll see. And then plan a day to go and deliver the, pill, the pills. No pills. They deliver the school supplies and uh, they both need trapper keepers so maybe we'll do a family day outing and everybody goes and picks out trapper keepers. I don't know. It'll be fun. I can't have, I, I don't want more rain. I died. I gotta check the skip. Uh, I haven't finished my first coffee. I need to check the weather. It says that on August 4th during my ride 20% chance of rain, which is really nothing, and only a high of 83, which is nice, because you don't, a couple years past, it's been in the 90s, and that is just so hot to finish a 50 mile bike ride. You get your first, you know, 10, 25 in, and it's in the early morning, and you're good, but then, I mean, it'll take a good five hours for me to finish up, and Sarah will come pick us up, and bring us home and I'll dump in the pool and cool off and usually my day is pretty spent on the that day it just you know it's a very emotional day riding I ride for my mom who I lost last year but I also have other family members and there's other people and, and during this ride there's about 8,000 folks that um, you know are all riding for a myriad of reasons but the, the support and the volunteers and the cheering and it's just emotionally highs and lows. And then physical draining, riding your bike 25 miles, or, or I'm sorry, 45, 50 miles in the heat. You know, by the end, you're just spent. So I go home usually, 
cousin will come over, maybe we'll swim a little bit, and then they go home, and we all just kind of pass out. Sarah will probably go do something with her girlfriends, and her dog and I will <laughs> lay on the couch. All right, well, I think this is it for car vlog Monday on my way to work. I don't know if I have any other news to share. Share? I love her. I don't think so. We will see. And I'm also on the hunt for a new app. I didn't realize until I watched one of my vlogs on the television that, or one of my videos, when I use this certain app on my phone to piece together snippets of video, that it does a weird thing and it's not full screen. I don't understand what it's doing, but I'm going to look for a new app for my phone. I just enjoy using the phone to do it. It's quicker because I know for myself, if I had to take it off my phone, put it on my computer, use an app, you know, use some type of an app or program on my computer, save it and load it, it's just not going to happen. It's too time consuming. Sorry, I'm changing lanes. Um, cumbersome so I'm on the hunt for a new app if anybody knows of one that works and does the widescreen I will be much appreciated appreciative not appreciated, appreciative clearly I need more coffee all right everybody bye and have a great day